In today's video, we're going to dive into a fascinating scientific milestone. The first ever fruit fly experiments conducted aboard China's Tiangong Space Station. On May 6, 2025, the Chinese Academy of Sciences announced that fruit flies bred in space are returning to Earth via the Shenzhou-19 spacecraft. These tiny insects are poised to unlock critical insights into how life adapts to the unique conditions of space. We'll uncover why fruit flies are ideal for space research, what makes this experiment groundbreaking, and how it could shape our understanding of biology in space. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, it's Sir Ant in China. How y'all doing today? I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a fantastic day over here in Shenzhen, and it gets better all the time thanks to my great viewers and subscribers who are remembering to hit that subscribe button below and throw me a thumbs up. We're getting so much closer to that 15,000 subscriber mark. Xie Neiman, thank you so much. And thanks to everybody who took the time and effort to buy me a cup of coffee or become a channel member. I appreciate you all. And hey, I've got about 50 15 new videos coming out over the next couple weeks over on my new Saran Travels channel. Go check it out. There is some wild stuff. But for now, let's get to today's topic. So let's start off with the basics. Why fruit flies? Well, scientifically known as Drosophila melanogaster, fruit flies have been a cornerstone of biological research for over a century. Their small size rapid reproduction cycle, producing a new generation every 10 days, and well-mapped genome make them perfect for studying genetics and physiology. Over 75% of human disease-related genes have counterparts in fruit flies, so findings from these studies often translate to human biology. In space, where resources are very limited and conditions extreme, fruit flies are ideal because they require minimal space and food while yielding vast amounts of data. Researchers have used them to study everything from muscle degradation to immune responses in microgravity, and this experiment aboard Tiangong is no exception. So what's special about this particular study? According to the Chinese Academy of Sciences, these fruit flies were sent to space on November 15, 2024, aboard the Tianzhou-8 cargo spacecraft. This marks China's first scientific experiment combining a hypomagnetic environment, where magnetic fields are nearly absent, with microgravity, the near weightless condition of orbit. The goal? to investigate how these conditions affect biological magnetic sensing and gravity perception, two fundamental processes that help organisms to orient themselves and function properly. On Earth, magnetic fields guide migratory birds and even influence human cells, while gravity shapes how our muscles and bones develop. In space, both are disrupted, so studying their effects on fruit flies could reveal how life adapts, or struggles, in extraterrestrial environments. So let's break down the experiment's setup. The fruit flies were housed in specialized containers aboard Tiangong, China's modular space station, which orbits about 400 kilometers above Earth. These containers, designed by CAS researchers, maintained controlled conditions, including temperature, humidity, and food supply to ensure the flies could survive and reproduce. The flies were exposed to a hypomagnetic environment created using magnetic shielding alongside with the microgravity of orbit. Over several weeks, the flies bred, producing multiple generations. These offspring, along with the original flies, are now returning to Earth for detailed analysis. Scientists will examine their genes, physiology, and behavior to understand how the combined lack of magnetic fields and gravity altered their development and survival. 
Why does this matter? Well, to answer that, we need to consider the bigger picture of space exploration. As humanity plans for long-term missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond, we must understand how prolonged exposure to space affects living organisms. Microgravity is known to cause muscle atrophy, bone loss, and immune system changes in astronauts. A hypomagnetic environment like that on Mars or in deep space could further complicate these effects. For example, studies on Earth suggest that weak magnetic fields can disrupt cell division or navigation in animals. By studying fruit flies, which share genetic similarities with humans, researchers can identify potential risks to astronauts and develop countermeasures, such as magnetic field generators or targeted therapies to protect future space travelers. Let's zoom out to the context of Tian Gong's scientific mission. The fruit fly experiment is part of a broader suite of research aboard China's space station. On May 5, 2025, CAS reported that the Shenzhou-19 return capsule brought back 37 kilograms of samples from 25 different experiments, covering life sciences, material sciences, and new space technologies. These included studies on zebrafish, planarians, and streptomyces, along with the fruit flies, as part of the Shenzhou-20 mission's 59 experiments. Tian Gong, fully operational since 2022, has become a hub for cutting-edge research, rivaling the International Space Station. Its ability to conduct experiments in a controlled, long-term orbital environment makes it a vital platform for advancing our knowledge of space biology. Now let's explore the science of magnetic sensing and gravity perception in a little more detail. Magnetic sensing, or magnetoreception, is how organisms detect Earth's magnetic field to navigate or regulate biological processes. In fruit flies, proteins called cryptochromes are thought to play a role in sensing magnetic fields, possibly by reacting to magnetic changes at the molecular level. Gravity perception, meanwhile, relies on sensory organs that detect an organism's orientation relative to the Earth's gravitational pull. In microgravity, these systems are disrupted, which can affect development, reproduction, and even gene expression. By studying fruit flies in a hypomagnetic microgravity environment, researchers hope to pinpoint which genes and proteins are most affected, offering clues about how these systems work in both space and on Earth. So what can we expect from the data? Once the fruit flies arrive back on Earth, scientists will conduct a range of analyses. They'll sequence the flies' genomes, to identify mutations or changes in the gene expression caused by the space environment. They'll also examine physical traits, like wing development or nervous system function, to see how microgravity and hypomagnetism altered growth. Behavioral tests, such as observing how the flies move or respond to stimuli, will reveal whether their sensory systems adapted to the lack of magnetic and gravitational cues. These findings could have applications far beyond space, such as improving our understanding of neurological disorders or developing sensors inspired by biological magnetoreception. Let's take a quick look at the historical context. Fruit flies have a storied history in space research. In 1947, the United States sent fruit flies aboard a V-2 rocket to study radiation effects, marking one of the first biological experiments in space. Since then, NASA and other agencies have used fruit flies on the space shuttle and the International Space Station to study aging, cardiovascular health, and immune function in microgravity. 
China's experiment builds on this legacy, but stands out for its focus on hypomagnetic environments, an understudied aspect of space. This pioneering approach could position China as a leader in space biology, especially as it ramps up its lunar and Martian ambitions. So what challenges did researchers face? Well, conducting experiments in space is no small feat. The fruit fly containers had to be engineered to withstand launch vibrations, maintain life support, and function autonomously for weeks. Creating a hypomagnetic environment required precise magnetic shielding, as even small residual fields could skew results. Microgravity also complicates basic tasks, like ensuring food stays accessible to the flies. The CAS team likely spent years designing and testing these systems, drawing on expertise from engineering, biology, and space technology. Their success highlights China's growing prowess in space science and its ability to tackle complex interdisciplinary challenges. Now let's take a look at the broader implications for science. The data from this experiment could inform fields beyond space exploration. For instance, understanding how magnetic fields influence biology could lead to new medical technologies, like magnetic therapies for neurological conditions. Insights into gravity perception might improve treatments for balance disorders, which affect millions of people on Earth now. Additionally, the experiments focus on multi-generational effects and how offspring adapt to space conditions could shed light on evolutionary biology, revealing how life might persist in alien environments. These cross-disciplinary benefits underscore why space research, even with tiny fruit flies, has such far-reaching impacts. While this experiment is led by China, its findings will likely be shared through international journals and conferences, as is standard in space research. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has a track record of publishing in top journals, as seen through their recent work on quantum computing and plant genetics. Collaborations with global institutions could further amplify the experiment's impact, especially as space agencies worldwide grapple with similar questions about life in space. This experiment is a reminder that science thrives on shared knowledge, even in a competitive field like space exploration. So, what's next for Tiangong's research? The fruit fly experiment is just one piece of a larger puzzle. China's plans to expand Tiangong's scientific capabilities with more experiments planned for 2025 and beyond. Future missions may explore other model organisms, like mice or plants, or test technologies for sustaining life on the Moon or Mars. The success of the fruit fly experiment could pave the way for more ambitious projects, positioning Tiangong as a cornerstone of global space research. So, realistically, why does this all matter to us, the people watching this video? Space exploration isn't just about rockets and astronauts. It's about answering fundamental questions about life. Where do we come from? Can we thrive beyond Earth? The fruit fly experiment, though small in scale, tackles these big questions by probing how life adapts to the unknown. Its findings could shape the future of human spaceflight, ensuring we're ready for the challenges of living on other worlds. More broadly, it reminds us of science's power to push boundaries from a lab on Earth to a station in orbit. This research has implications for astronaut health, medical science, and understanding of life's adaptability. It also showcases China's growing role in space science and Tiangong's potential as a global research platform. The humble fruit fly, once again, proves its outsized importance in advanced human knowledge. So what do you think? 
is it worthwhile to study something as relatively insignificant as the life of fruit flies in space? Should we instead be focusing our efforts on solving bigger problems that are happening on the planet right now? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But for now, I want to say thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Sai Jen.